Hey there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item, well, you know, from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so, we're still uh, here over, over in Oregon slash Washington. We are at uh, Shelter in Place, so we're definitely not going to the Dollar Tree. And a lot of us are doing our worship from, uh, we're live streaming. So how do you do a children's sermon for Palm Sunday on a video? How do you do the live stream children's sermon for Palm Sunday? Well, the idea that I'm working with and I think it's got merit is we're doing a virtual um Palm procession, and that's online. So many of you are either posting your videos on Facebook, you're posting your videos on the website, you're also um, uploading them to YouTube. So what better way than to start now and ask your families to take a picture of them either with uh, um, sticks and leaves and coats and cloaks, something like that, and then send them to you, we all, I mean, the majority of your folks will have some type of camera, some type of device to be able to take those pictures. And especially if you're doing it online, you're assuming that there is some of that already in place. So have them take the photos, send them to you, and you can either put them on your on the Facebook wall. You can even use, um, I use iMovie. You could actually create a, um, by putting in individual pictures, you could create a little video and it's a processional, um, a virtual processional of, of palms, if you will. Um, I think it would be an absolute blast for the kids to take part in that. So I'm posting this now and so that we can, you can get some traction behind it. And um, I think it would be fun. I mean, it's a way of just reclaiming the, the situation we're in and living into it. And then the kids can see what you've done with it. And yeah, it'd be fantastic. Now, you don't even have to do video with it. You could just, just, you could post the pictures they send to you in just a, the, along your Facebook wall of here is the processional as it goes along in different people. Um, I think it's, I think, I like it. Um, and I hope you do too. So I am praying for you. I'm praying for the ways that you, we can reach out to the kids and to the families of our uh, congregation members and beyond. Because I tell you what, the one of the one of the strange blessings in this time is that I'm having folks that I might not have connected with before, being able to, whether they're two states away or something like that, they've been able to um, stream in and and see what's going on. People that have had connections to the church before that that they're realizing they can connect in this way in, in a new and um, it's an important way. So anyway, virtual processional with pictures of kids and parents with their coats and with their palms and with their, maybe with their palms, have everyone do, you know, a processional with waving palms. So, palms, anyway, I know you got it. So, all right, I hope that can be a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon, around your worship service. And as always, thanks for stopping by and stay safe, wash your hands, happy Palm Sunday, and we will See you next week as we look at doing our Easter children's sermon via live stream and virtual and knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God and nothing can keep that big old stone in front of that tomb. All right, we'll see you then.